Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little screen comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S3, the most popular phone from last year, and the new Sony Xperia Z uh, and the, the Apple iPhone 5. So, this is kind of interesting. They are all very different. First, we do have Samsung's phone here that has a Samsung's own Super AMOLED screen, which provide vibrant colors. Uh, which provide like green really looks like green and uh, you know blue really will look a lot blue uh, and the colors will be kind of hard uh, you know very very vibrant uh, the Sony Xperia Z is actually my first full HD uh, smartphone so the Super uh, the, the Samsung Galaxy S3 is uh, having a 720p resolution while the Sony Xperia Z here is coming with uh, 1080p resolution so it's a full HD smartphone it's not the full first full HD smartphone though we have the Droid DNA and some other that launch in the US but in my region where I live in Sweden uh, this is the first one that have come out on the market so it of course it has a TFT display and I'm not sure if TFT means that it's an LCD display, but it's a listing that it's a TFT display, of course, with uh, with Sony's own mobile Bravia engine that they are calling it, and um, that it's their mobile Bravia engine too. So uh, right now on all these phones, I have the screen brightness turned on the highest. So 1080p over here, that, that means that the, the pixels per inch is very, very high. You get 440 pixels per inch uh, PPIs uh, here on the 1080p Xperia Z, which means that especially in reading, uh, like if you have the Kindle app and read a lot, you won't be able to see the pixels on the screen, even though you are very, very close to the screen. Now, uh, last, uh, we do have the iPhone 5 here, of course, that is having a LED backlit IPS uh, LCD over here. And this LED backlit uh, IPS LCD over here is actually the, the phone here that seems to be the brightest one when I'm indoor at the moment. And so it's the most brightest. And then second, I would say that the Galaxy S3 comes second here. And then at the uh, at the, the last spot here, we do get the Xperia Z. Uh, the Xperia Z might be better uh, outdoor because it has that mobile Bravia engine. I've heard it should be kind of decent over there. Uh, in terms of vibrant though, uh, and also used to continue here, you don't get 720p resolution on the display here on the iPhone, but uh, the thing is that it still has a very high PPI because the phone doesn't have that of a big display. It's only four inch, so the iPhone has four inch, the S3 has 4.8, and, and then this uh, 1080p smartphone here has five inch. So just because it only has a four inch display, it's, it can still remain a very, very high pixels per inch. That is 330 on the iPhone 5, uh, just because it's only is four inch. So the resolution is 640 times 1136. And uh, uh, it's kind of interesting here which displays better. Um, it all comes down to, I mean, first, as I said, they're in brightness, definitely, if, if right now, indoor, the iPhone 5 is the winner. Uh, but if we talk about vibrant colors, and if you really like that, uh, you know, a lot of very hardcore colors, uh, then definitely the Galaxy S3 is winner at, at that area. And I really do hope that the Galaxy S4 is going to uh, be unveiled at Mar March the 14th, just a few days from now in New York. I really hope that Samsung has been able to produce this uh, full age HD Super AMOLED display, or else they might switch to an LCD panel and uh, use this Solux technology that also could be kind of interesting. Uh, but I, I would say that if you watch a lot of movies, uh, the Super AMOLED display will be better uh, to d show different colors. If you do a lot of Kindle reading, or you know, if you used to. Uh, you know, especially uh, also when you're doing browser, especially the white color white looks amazing on LCD displays, and also I'm pretty sure TFT displays, even though I haven't tried out the Xperia Z that much, but for white and browsing, the, the iPhone 5 is amazing at displaying white. The, uh, the uh, AMOLED screen here, in my personal opinion, is not as good, and uh, something that Samsung is having a big problem with uh, that I've noticed and discovered is that when you are outdoor, it's very, very hard uh, to see the screen when it's bright outside. So that will be an experiment here with Xperia Z, how good I will see it outside. Now, also one thing about the viewing angles, 
uh, I can definitely say that the the, uh, the iPhone with the LED backlit display here also it, it probably has the best viewing angles here. Uh, but the, the Galaxy S3, I would say, comes very very close uh, to uh, you know all amazing viewing angles as well. Uh, now the viewing angles on the Xperia Z is horrible. I actually did compare this device to the to the previous generation, the Xperia S that came out last year that had actually an LED backlit IPS LCD. It's kind of like the iPhone 5. That one actually do seems to have better viewing angles and be a little bit of a brighter screen. Uh, I don't know why this, the screen looks so washed out when you look at it from the sides. It may not be a huge deal for you, but for me as a Samsung guy that's been using Samsung products for a long time, I find that a little bit annoying. Yeah, but of course I will experiment more with the Mobile Bravia engine on the Xperia Z but I'm kind of disappointed a little bit there uh, I really like that it's the full 1080p uh, you know smartphone here uh, but then you know we will get the S4 we will get HTC's flagship device as well that will have 1080p displays and then I will do some hardcore comparisons but definitely uh, the PPI here that you get 100 more PPI now let's be honest when you when you get kind of like over 300 pixels per inch on a display and if you aren't extremely close you won't actually see the pixels. So you can actually argue that th those 400 PPIs that you do get, you know, that, that's not really something that you actually do need. Uh, but it's a good selling point, of course, for, for Sony. Uh, but it's, it's interesting to talk about. Uh, but I'm a little bit un unsatisfied with that. Uh, of course, the Galaxy S3 here has lowest PPI, 306 versus 327 on the iPhone 5. But I mean, the iPhone 5 just get a little bit more. You won't really notice a difference. But of course, the Xperia Z here wins in screen resolution. And also, it, it is the biggest phone here. And it also comes with other tons of awesome features like it's dust proof, it's waterproof and all those things. So definitely I will do more videos here, compare the screens and you know, watch movies and try it out outdoor and do camera comparisons and stuff like that. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on the Xperia Z and other flagship devices for 2013. And I have a dedicated channel only for the Xperia Z where I will upload you know, tips and tricks on that phone. So hope you stay tuned for more awesome stuff. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see uh, upcoming here, please let me know that in the comment section down below. And until next time, have a awesome day, and I'll see you all. Yeah, peace.